There are several reasons why you would want to connect your iPhone or iPad to your TV screen. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to check whether your TV can support this and also how you can make the connection. If you are finding this channel for the very first time, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Now the feature we're going to be using today to set this up is called AirPlay. Now AirPlay is the service that allows us to share the screen of our iPhone or iPad on your TV set. Most modern television sets, they do have AirPlay with them, but I'm going to be using a Roku television set, which already has AirPlay inbuilt. You can check to see whether yours has by looking at the manual or you can go to settings and find the airplay settings so i'm gonna scroll back and find the airplay and home kit and i'll go on here open the airplay menu and make sure that airplay is turned on you want to make sure that it's turned on because if it's turned off you won't be able to send a request to your tv so i have my ipad here i'm gonna play one of my favorite shows ted lasso so and I'm gonna so let's just pause it for a second I'm gonna pull up and then I'm gonna press the screen mirroring option and then I'm going to select my TV set don't be concerned if there's a delay because sometimes depending on the app you're using because right now I'm trying to stream a video so oh there it is but you shouldn't worry if there's a delay as you're starting uh, sharing the screen. The other thing to note is that not every streaming app is going to work. For example, like I tried Netflix. Uh, let's open up Netflix. So you're, you're able to see my screen and you're able to browse around and do, but if you play something like Stranger Things, uh, for example, let's just play this episode. You will see that it's saying now playing but the Netflix app is going to detect that you're trying to like screen share. So it's going to ask you to use the app on your TV. So there are several apps that I haven't tried, but you can try it. Uh, normally the stuff that I do, I'm able to do, but if you're into streaming, uh, you might have to try different apps. So in order to disconnect, you go back and tap on stop mirroring. And that's how you stop the mirroring on iPad. Now we're gonna switch to the iPhone. It's actually the same procedure. I have my photos app already opened up and I have this photo that I want to preview. I'm going to pull up and then I'm gonna 3D touch the screen mirroring option and then select my TV set. And you can see that the photo that I was previewing on my phone is now showing up on my screen. I use this option very much to preview any photos that I'm about to post on Instagram just to see them on a big screen before I can post them. And if I need to make any changes, I can make the changes. So basically that's why I use this feature and it's very easy. And once you're done, in this case, I'm done previewing this, I'm going to go back and touch that and then stop the mirroring. And that will stop the sharing of your screen to your TV set. So that's how you do it on an iPhone and iPad. It's, it's also, it also works on a Mac. If you have a Mac, you can always like connect wirelessly to your TV set. If you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.